Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're going to take a look how you can do an EFI dual boot with Pop! OS and Windows. Um, Pop! OS just came out with a new version uh, 20.10 based on Ubuntu 20.10. Uh, it's a really great operating system and if you haven't had a chance to take a look at it, I highly suggest it. It's a great OS. Um, but one of the things that they don't do well that so many other distributions do do well is um, the ability to do a multi-boot by default. And so what we're going to do is through this process, we're going to go through and how you can go ahead and enable um, EFI multi-boot or dual boot um, with your Pop! OS installation. So um, I should say I've, there's some caveats here with this. Um, we are messing with um, our EFI uh, information here. So um, there should be warning here. You can kind of bork your machine if you don't do this correctly or if you do it um, not following the directions right. Or if you have uh, slightly different hardware or uh, something outside of the scope of what this is meant to do. Um, my machine is uh, has multiple um, drives in it. Um, I've got a, a separate SSD for um, my window ins Windows installation and another SSD for my Linux Pop! OS installation. And so that is what I'm basing this off of. So if you have a singular um, device, say a laptop, and you're trying to do a dual boot between Windows and Pop! OS on that, the, your mileage is going to vary. I'm not sure how well this is going to work for you. Um, but um, if you have a configuration that's similar to mine, this is how I went about in enabling it for me. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to find where our um, Windows partition is. Um, so uh, I know for me, um, I know my machine pretty well that it's SDB, um, this device right here. And let's make that a little bit larger for you so you can see. Um, so mine is SDB. And uh, one of the ways that you can tell is one, it has um, the file system of NTFS. Uh, where your Linux installation is usually ext4, could be butterfs, you know, if, if you did something different, um, zfs, I guess it could be as well, um, if you manually changed what the partition uh, formatting was. Uh, but by default, you're going to have an ext4 uh, file format. And so with this, here's our NTFS um, installation of Windows. And in that, you can also tell is... Um, our EFI partition here, and it's almost always 100 megabytes in size, and it's gonna be VFAT for the file system type. And so you can see for me, um, I'm SDB1 is that partition, and so that's the thing that we're gonna to need to mount in order to get our EFI information from our Windows bootloader into our Pop! OS bootloader. So let's go ahead and let's clear this. And so what we need to do first and foremost is create a directory. And so um, for this, I'm gonna create a directory in the MNT uh, folder, and it's we're gonna call it win-efi. And so since I know the partition of my device, it was uh, dev sdb1, uh, we're gonna mount that, that partition into that folder that we just created. So, we press enter and it should be there now. So now if we do like an ls-la into, yeah, there we go. Open up, yeah, we can see now that we have our EFI information, system volume information, et cetera, for that Windows installation. Now, the next thing we need to do is copy a specific folder over to our boot EFI for Pop! OS and that's our um, EFI-Microsoft folder. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the CP or copy command with a dash R, which means it's gonna recursively copy everything in Microsoft and below it into our boot EFI uh, folder. And so when we press enter, there we go, it copied it over. Now, one of the things that you probably wanna do if you're watching this tutorial is you're gonna want to add a timeout um, option in your uh, Pop! OS bootloader. So if we go into boot EFI loader, loader.conf, that's our configuration file for the Pop! OS EFI bootloader. Um, I'm using the micro um, 
editor. That's my preferred um, editor of choice, but replace micro with Nano or Vim or Emacs, whatever the case may be that you're using. Um, if you're a beginner um, and you don't know what editor you wanna use, probably Nano is the one that's gonna be uh, most readily available to you and easiest to understand. So what we're gonna do is press enter. And so that's gonna take us into our, um, our loader.conf uh, file. And you can see I've already modified mine to have a timeout of five. Um, but yours is probably going to look like that. It's just going to say default pop OS. And so what you're going to want to do is add this timeout and then a number. Um, that number represents how many seconds it's going to sit on the bootloader before it automatically boots into pop OS. So um, if you wanted to change this to 10, you could have it sit there for 10 seconds and it's going to um, take 10 seconds before it automatically loads into pop OS and gives you 10 seconds if you wanna to move to Windows or whatever the case may be. So let's go ahead and save that and get out of that. So now in order to see the fruits of our labor here, we're gonna reboot the machine. You can either type in sudo reboot or come up here and click restart in your menu structure here. Um, I don't have the ability to capture um, my BIOS screen. So what I'm gonna do is, and the bootloader sequence. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna record with the camera what it looks like of uh, recording the monitor. And you can see what the, the bootloader looks like after we've implemented all of these commands. Um, so give me a second, we're gonna reboot and I'll show you what we're working with. So as you can see, we now have the ability to select between um, Pop! OS and uh, Windows now. So that was pretty much it, guys. Hope this was helpful for you. Um, I'm hoping to create some more new t tutorials here coming in the future um, and and get it more readily available for you guys to, to give you kind of my experience of what I'm going through as a Linux uh, user and the things that I'm finding that are helping me. So hopefully they can help you. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.